okay, your characters had me dying. <laughs> Seriously, like it was so unexpected. Like you have a drug named after you. That's amazing. <laughs> and you're a thug. That's amazing. So how, what was it like transitioning into acting? I know it's relatively new for you and this is one of your first roles, right? Mm -hmm. What was it like? Um, exciting, you know, to get a phone call and, you know, from the director and telling you that you got a role that you've been working really hard for. Um, when the moment I read the script, I fell in love with it and I connected with it. And Lily is just a, a character I felt was a challenge for me to take on. And, um, yeah, it just, it's just been a great project to be a part of. Awesome. So I in the movie, they talk about the N-word. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Is it okay if a Caucasian uses it, if it's coming from a positive place? It's forever gonna be an argument and never gonna, it's never gonna be a settled argument, mm -hmm. you know? This is one of those things where, obviously, context is what it all revolves around, mm -hmm. you know? But then, of course, you have certain people who find it to be so disrespectful. Like, if someone calls me that, you know, it's the homie, like, I'm not, tripping on it at all, mm -hmm. but then of course, you know, you may have somebody that, that sees it in a different way, you know, but it definitely just all about the context, you know, right. and, you know, we can't help what society kind of makes it and brings it, you know, it's not right. up to, it's not one or two people that's gonna, you know, get to that final answer of, right. of who, who can say it, who can't, you know. Yeah, well said. Um, so this movie deals with a lot of different stereotypes, race, all those issues. Growing up, what are some stereotypes that you guys dealt with? I know, like, being a model, coming up, you know, with a famous father, what stereotypes do you guys deal with? Um, I mean, one in the work field, you know, people think I'm handed everything mm -hmm. and, and that, you know, I don't work for anything. Mm -hmm. So it's like when people kind of like see me for the first time, they already have like a pre-judged mm -hmm. whatever. And it's up to me to kind of like, you know, prove that wrong, but it's like five times the work, you know, but it's okay, you know, and, and it's, I, I appreciate the respect after the fact, but right. definitely it's a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, for me it's eating. Like people think that I don't eat and I eat everything. So <laughs> Me too, girl. Uh -huh. Me too. <laughs> Such a struggle. <laughs> I know. Okay, give me music. Let's talk music. Give me your top five, both of you guys. Go. Uh from the nineties or just in general? I love the nineties, so let's just do the nineties. Yeah. Um uh -huh. I mean from Tribe Called Quest yes. we love. Um In Vogue. In Vogue. Destiny's Child. Yeah, Naughty by Nature. Girl, Destiny's Child. <laughs> Tupac. Biggie, of course, you know. Mm. All that. <laughs> How about some ratchet music? Current ratchet music. Oh, current? Yeah. Um, I mean, 2 chains well, got that on lock, mm -hmm. right? Like, I'm into trap music. Me okay. too. Like, look at the, look at the wrist. Yeah, I'm into that. that. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, yes. young Travis thug. Scott, all that. Yeah. Get yeah. you going. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank this you. This was great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Do you guys, can we take a quick picture? Let's do it. Okay. Very quick, though, because they're, okay. they're on the... Can we take it, girl?